July 20th, 1974, dawn. The hum of fighter jets mingles with the chilling sound of sirens. Turkish landing crafts crawl onto the shores of Kyrenia. The whole of Cyprus awakens to the most terrifying nightmare. Attila, the code name of the Turkish operation, advances, spreading destruction and devastation. Time freezes. Nothing is as it was. The bells are silent, the church is desecrated, uprooting, death, anguish. The dreams and efforts of a lifetime hastily packed into a bundle, into a suitcase. Mothers in mourning, wives, young children with a photo search for their loved ones. Missing, trapped, refugees in their own land. Elderly women, young girls face the most humiliating and barbaric face of the invader. Unarmed civilians are murdered, captured soldiers executed. Cyprus is writhing and bleeding. The international community watches idly. Every rule of international law is flagrantly violated, fundamental human rights trampled, horrific war crimes committed. The UN Security Council issues Resolution 353 late in the evening of July 20th, calling for a ceasefire and the withdrawal of foreign military forces. However, Turkey proceeds unrelentingly with its unlawful, expansionist and divisive plans. Negotiations that began in Geneva on July 25th proved futile and predestined to fail. Meanwhile, the Turkish army, under international tolerance, consolidates its bridgehead to complete the crime. On August 14th, Attila strikes a second time. Karpasia, Morfu, Famagusta fall into the hands of the invader. Agreements remain on paper, and a series of UN Security Council and General Assembly resolutions are never implemented. And the invader remains an occupier for half a century. For 50 years, the wounds of the Cypriot tragedy remain wide open. The reality is harsh and relentless. Yet souls have been rooted in the occupied land and people still cherish the keys to their homes, waiting for the day of return. We want nothing more than the liberation and reunification of our homeland. We want nothing less than a just and sustainable solution, compatible with European principles and values for all the island's inhabitants without exception. A solution that will endure, ensuring peace, prosperity, and stability in our land. All our efforts in the diplomatic field are focused on this goal, to create the conditions for a substantive dialogue based on the agreed framework of a bizonal, bicommunal federation with political equality, according to UN resolutions to overturn the fates accompli on the ground which Turkey systematically attempts. And we will not stop until we achieve it, despite Ankara's intransigent stance and its insistence on divisive solutions like that of two states. In this struggle, we want you by our side. Our European partners, we want you to join your voice with ours. How can a European state remain divided? How can Europe feel secure when a part of it is under occupation? Europe will be whole only when Cyprus is reunited. <laughs>